Newport regular council meeting is called to order at 6.30 p.m. Present at the meeting, council members Kevin Charbonneau, Christopher Sean, Clark Curtis, Rick Upford Chase. Also here, city clerk and treasurer Jane Johnson, our city manager, let me watch how I say this right, Jonathan De La Bruyere. Good, <laughs> thank you. Um, I know my program's director, controller, Rebecca is here, Terry Ann. Um, additional staff members, Mr. Bonier. Our police chief is here. Our recreation director, Mike Brown, is here. Please, <coughs> if I don't see you, I, our interim chief, fire chief, is here. Um, our captain is here, Mr. Touchette. Um, am I missing anybody else? Frank is here. We just have that one. And our zoning administrator, Frank Cheney, is here. Thank you. Okay. Next item on the agenda is additions, deletions, or changes to the agenda. Councilman Sarbanel? Uh, yes, in addition, I'd like to revisit the personnel policy. If not tonight, then probably the next meeting. Um, I don't think it was really thought out well. It uh, removes safeguard for our, for our non-union employees, basically making them fire at well, uh, really kind of creates a sense of uh, uncertainty. And uh, it doesn't really address the problems with people that were under contracts, uh, as opposed to being under the policy, they would have a contract that spells out what it is. So I, I'd, I'd really like to revisit that. Um, and as I said, if, if not tonight, because we have quite a full agenda, then the next meeting. So instead, and I'm asking, it's up to you, instead of additions and deletions, can we put this on April 1? On the next? Uh, is that that's our it, next it, meeting? Yeah. Oh, okay. It, would that work for everybody here? Does that work yeah. for you? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Councilman Sean? No, thank you. Councilman Curtis? No. Councilman <coughs> Upper Chase? No, thank you. Treasurer Johnson? No. City Manager? No. Okay, before we move to the next agenda item, I would just like to recognize two of our uh, residents, Phil White and Kathleen Marcel. So if you would take the floor before we move forward. Thank you. <coughs> I'll be brief. Um, as um, Newport continues to um, identify itself and promote itself as a hub of outdoor recreational activity, we thought we would love to present you with a picture of our Winter Swimming Society. <laughs> and we hope that uh, the municipal building will be filled with such pictures in the years to come. Oh, get in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I love your hat. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you so much. Can you just flip around after and show everybody? Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. When it's grown exponentially every year, and it brings people from all over the world to Newport. Thank you very much. That's, that's so we'll just awesome. put this over here. Thank you. It's now an asset to the city. We <laughs> <laughs> recorded on the books. Huh? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, the next item on the agenda <clears throat> is to approve the minutes of March 4, 2024, the informational meeting, as well as March 5, 2024, the annual meeting. 
I'm going to ask for separate motions on that, please. May I have a motion? And for those of you who, because we have new council members and people who are out um, campaigning, so if you were not here, feel free to abstain. It's up to your choice. Um, may I have a motion to approve the uh, minutes for March 4, 2024? I move to approve <coughs> excuse me, the minutes of March 4th council meeting. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. A motion and a second. Comments? Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Let's say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. May I have a motion, please, to approve the minutes of March 5, 2024? Do we have to do another one for March 4th information? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. I didn't want to go. But we do need a distinct one for March 5. I'll make the motion to approve the minutes of March 5, 2024. Thank you. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I have a motion and a second. Any questions? For the discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the election of the council president. Um, before we go into the discussion um, for this election, I do want to bring up that the council president takes the goes into the stead of the mayor if the mayor is um, ill or cannot be here. So I did want to bring up before the discussion at least one very important part of the council member's job. I mean, there's more to it than just monitoring the meeting. So I wanted to make sure that you all understood that. Um, it's your job if you step into the role um, of the mayor that you, of course, will use your best efforts to see that the laws and the city ordinances are enforced. <clears throat> and also that the duties of all subordinate officers are faithfully performed. There is a host of other uh, um, obligations and charges, so I just wanted it to be really clear that you don't know, just get to play with the guy wall. <laughs> so um, can we have some, a discussion now to see? I'd like to actually hear from each of you to see who would like or to be considered for um, the presidency. I'd like to nominate Chris Fashon. I think he's got the experience. He's well spoken. Uh, he's able to view all sides of the issue and keep his temper and everything in check. I think he would do well in the position. Okay. Council member, do you have anything to say for yourself or for any members? Uh, no interest in serving as president. <laughs> <laughs> and anxious to hear what other folks have to say. Okay. Council member Curtis. I was interested in it, but I really don't want to engage in a debate with any of my colleagues. Okay. Um, I'd also be interested in taking on the role. I love to take on new challenges and so it up. So, <coughs> yeah, that'd be the way. Okay. So. I got a motion. I need a second. <laughs> Can't. Ready? Here I go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can I have a motion to. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a wild night. There we go. 
<laughs> Can I have a motion that we should you set your chance to reconsider? You know? A motion to elect uh, Council Member Chris Michon as the president of the council. I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. I have a motion and a second. <coughs> Any comments? For the discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Motion is carried. Congratulations, Mr. Mr. President. President. <laughs> you know I love to do that, right, Mr. President? <laughs> okay, the next item on the agenda is the City Council Rules of Procedure. Those are the rules of procedure that are in place um, and have been in place. Um, there have been no changes to it. May I have a motion to approve the City Council rules of procedure? Right down. I have a motion. Do I have a second? <coughs> second. A motion and a second. Comment? Sorry. Uh -huh. okay. um, so there was a change, and it's at uh, section two under participation. And the 2023 copy stated that at the beginning of each agenda, but before any action is taken by the public body, there may be as much as 15 minutes afforded for open public comment. Uh, the change that has been made is that it says at the end of each agenda, but before any action is taken by the public body, there may be as much as 15 minutes afforded for open public comment. So there's two different issues going on here. Number one is I'm curious who, who made this change and why the change was made. And then the second issue that's going on is it makes no sense because it says at the end of each agenda, but before any action is taken by the public body. Well, clearly, if you put it at the end of the agenda, the body will have voted on many things, which is action, and therefore, it can't stand <coughs> up. So I would really like to hear answers to the questions rather than just a cursory thank you for your public comments as to why this took place and, and who made the change. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. But I do want to um, bring it back here. So I'm looking for my copy to be sure that I don't have that change. Do you have that change on yours? My page <coughs> under that public participation is not so. Do you have the old one? Or do you know? I don't have the old one. Okay. I'm looking for the old one. Oh. Are these the old ones that we had, or were these the ones that were changed? Okay, so I have, two I have the old ones. Thank, thank you. I just need some. So coming back to our discussion, it's my understanding that we were approving the old ones. We were re-approving these. So you want to, where is everybody at on this? Okay. Yes, please do.
So number two, it says at the end of each agenda item, but before any action is taken by the policy, there may be as much as. So the process is that we bring up the agenda. I always throw it out after our motion. I always bring it out for comment on each agenda item and then bring it back. And once it's brought back to the table for discussion, it stays here with council members to continue the discussion and do the vote. But it all, I always allow <coughs> public comment on each agenda item after so I ask for that. the motion. So I think another, that's what it means. I think that's what it means. We could clarify the wording. So then we should add a line that talks about each agenda item right. separately. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we can make that clar clarification, but we can go through it and clarify it so we can pretty much, if you like, adopt it in um, intent and then we can fix it or we can sit tight and bring it back. I will do whatever anybody likes on this one. Mm -hmm. So if I understand the intent, mm -hmm. it seems like it would actually be best served to be two different points. Mm -hmm. yeah. One being a point that before any item for action is taken up by council, there will be an opportunity for the public to make comment. And a second item that is that at the end of any agenda, of every agenda, there will be an, an opportunity for further public comment. No. No? No. It's the agenda item comes up. Mm -hmm. We'll bring a motion or a discussion. And once we have a motion, then I open it up. I open it up to the public so we can get comments from the public. Then I bring it back to the council where it remains at this table for us to further discussion and then vote. The second opportunity for public comment is at public comment. Period, whether at the end of the agenda, but it doesn't. No, it doesn't mandate that it's there. We, I I, we have the authority to move it to the beginning and work it around our agenda. Yeah, and I think under section C, number six, mm -hmm. it, it describes how the uh, when there's a motion, the members can speak uh, after being recognized. Uh, and that, that's basically the time for them to, uh, to comment on, on various motions. It would seem on, on this one, it, it's just you, you swapped it from the beginning of the agenda to the end for the public <coughs> comments. And if we just strike that, but before any action is taken by the public body, uh, because that would only make sense if in fact, they were at the beginning, so it's just a matter of striking out but before any action is taken by the public body. So I can see where there could be confusion because sure. each agenda item has the <coughs> comments by the members of the public. This seems like it's pertaining to each item. Item, right, right. So we can, um, fix that and why don't we take this back and yep. work on it and bring it back on April 1. Would everybody be comfortable with that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. This way we can go through that. Thank you for that. Okay. Next item on the agenda are appointments of officers and board and committee members <coughs> with anticipated votes. Um, we've listed all of these agenda items, okay, with all of the positions that we could identify in the charter. Please note that specific appointments on this list obviously will not be made if appointments are, have already been filled, whether by election or other means that uh, require us not to appoint. When we get to each appointment that's listed, we will have appropriate discussion if necessary, or we may actually table if we believe that it's necessary um, and we're not ready to appoint, or if the appointment actually is moot. So we are going to go through each of these appointments um, 
and we're going to be doing that one by one. Okay, so everybody ready? Um, we'd like to begin with the city manager who has contract. Now, I would ask for a motion to appoint the city manager in accordance with the terms of his contract. So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any comment? And it's appointment, and I don't have to open it up for comments, but I'm going to sometimes, okay? Not here to, <laughs> to to say anything against you. So uh, uh, my name is Jennifer Bierling. I'm a resident of Newport. Um, there's certain positions on here that the city council's granted authority to appoint. Um, but we're dealing with the city manager. I understand, okay. but the city manager is part of it, and um, they don't have any term limit. And so once they're appointed, they're appointed. And they're appointed until such time as you terminate them. Um, it's not a situation where it is available to the council um, annually to reappoint them. There's no term limit. So when you appoint them, you are appointing them. And they're permanent until they quit, die, God forbid, um, or you decide to terminate them. OK, and I'm going to cut it right now, but well, I appreciate it. I let you speak. John Clash of Stitzel and Page gave this information. OK, OK, I let you speak, but now it was an, it's an appointment. But I appreciate what you just said. However, we have we have attorneys, and I appreciate your legal thoughts here. It's but not my legal thought. I, as I, I said. I'm, I'm reporting from the minutes I understand. of previous. This is not my legal thought. I understand. Your attorney's right now. This. Okay, I let you speak. It was an appointment, and I'm going to ask you. Okay, if you let's do it against your attorney's advice. As I said. Okay, let's not go back and forth because don't want to ask people to leave. Okay, these are appointments. We will proceed the way we know how to proceed according with the legal advice that we follow. Okay. So, I have a motion to appoint the city manager. I have a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Please say nay. Ayes have it. Motion is carried. Next <coughs> appointment is the superintendent of streets and waterworks, or the director of DPW. May I have a motion to appoint the superintendent of streets and waterworks? And that will be um, Mr. Benier and also to set a bond for Mr. Benier. I'll make that motion. The motion, do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Count. What do you want to ask me? Discussion? Yes. Okay. Um, what I'm going to say is not intended uh, to throw anybody under the bus, um, nor will I. Um, there have been a lot of people that approach me about issues regarding Department of Public Works, and I have asked for some meetings, and those haven't occurred. So to be fair to the voters, the residents, I can't vote yes. And to be fair to the public works director, because I have not heard from him, I can't vote no. So I'm just, I will be abstaining. Okay. Um, any further discussion? <coughs> Can we set the amount of the bond for the five hundred thousand dollars, that's what the city manager has as well. Mr. Mm -hmm. Benio, 
Can I make a comment? You must certainly make. I'm just curious as to. You just got. You raised your hand before I got to call. Sure, I'm just curious as to when Mr. Curtis had uh, had asked me to meet with me. Um, I've never gotten an email. Um, so, but Mr. Bennett, will you, you you did get an email from me on the bond. On the what? The bond. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. I have a motion to appoint Mr. Veneer, and I have a second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it. And the motion is. One extension. Right. And the motion is carried. <laughs> Next appointment is the Chief of Police, Travis Bingham. May I have a motion to appoint Travis Bingham as the Chief of Police? So I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. <coughs> All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, say nay. Ayes have it. Motion is carried. Next item, the Board of Fire Wardens. We have a Chief, a First Assistant, and a Second <coughs> Assistant. Um, at this point in time, we will be, um, I will be asking for a motion <coughs> to appoint the um, Interim Chief on a month-to-month -month basis so that we can begin again our aggressive recruitment process. Um, I am going to ask the uh, interim chief to identify for me who the first assistant is because I believed it was you too, right? <laughs> and so do you have somebody there in, in your stead until this moves or so can we continue that way? No, at this point, as I stepped up, there is only one assistant, uh, which is James LeClaire. Um, and he is actually the first assistant chief. I was second, so. Okay. But there, at this point, the second assistant chief position is open until the chief position is filled, and then <coughs> I will step back if appointed, if so appointed. Okay. And Mr. Leclerc is fine with this. Uh, as far as I know, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. Won't you be surprised? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were surprised. Yeah. Very true. Okay, I do want to bring up that um, according to the charter, if in fact there is no uh, chief at any point in time, the city manager does by default step into that role. Um, however, shy of having your mate step into the role, you probably couldn't even ring the bell. Okay. I would like to recognize our city manager because he does have qualifications. And so I'd like you to please explain, you know, your qualifications so that people understand that they are going to be in good hands regardless before we actually do the appointment. Do you want me to go up to the mic or from here? You can talk from okay. there. You can take Chris's mic. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get over. Yeah. So even though I'm in the city manager role, uh, I do have a fire service background. Um, I actually, my stepfather and grandfather were on Newport City, um, but I didn't join the fire service till I joined the city of Winooski Fire Department in 2014. I spent seven years with the city of Winooski Fire, um, finished there as a lieutenant, and then I've continued on. Uh, we bought a house in Fairfax, so I've been in Fairfax now for three years, and I finished there as a lieutenant as well. Uh, for the past five years, I've been going around the state teaching for the Vermont Fire Academy and held that role for about five years. So I do quite a bit of fire service instructing. Um, also, I just finished my managing officer program through the National Fire Academy. So I spent about a month in total down in Emmitsburg, Maryland to, to further that as well. So um, I, I do have quite a bit of fire service background. Thank you for that. Thank you. So. May I have a motion to appoint the Board of Fire Wardens, which would be our interim fire chief and the assistant James LeClaire at this point in time? I'll make that motion. I have a motion to have a second. 
Second. A motion and second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Ayes have it. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously. Thank and you. don't forget that. Yeah, I know. I know the month to month. I know. I know. <laughs> No, thank you very much. Okay, next up is the Director of Recreation and Parks, uh, Mike Brown. May I have a motion to appoint Mike Brown as the Director of Recreation and Parks? So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Okay, next up, the Recreation Committee, and I'm going to ask, <laughs> and I'm going to ask um, my city manager at any point in time to jump on in before we actually, you know, went on any of these. <coughs> um, so, Recreation Committee, we have Jennifer Smith. That's me. Sorry. <laughs> no one making the noise in the room. No, that's very good, because I'm going to ask you to take the mic and tell us why you want to be part of this committee. Oh, dear. I have a loud voice. I don't really, but I don't. Okay. So, I am really interested in continuing my role on the Recreation Committee because, first of all, there's a project that, I, that is near and dear to my heart that I have not yet seen <laughs> come to fruition, and it's that playground and splash pad. So that's near and dear to my heart, but in addition to that, I am a city resident, and I love to volunteer. I love to make kids happy and families happy, and it's just who I am. Well, thank you. <coughs> and I love working with Mike. Did I answer all the questions? Well, that was very, like, <laughs> Okay, Sean Pilker? Is Sean here? He's not here. Though. Okay. Uh, Nick Whitehouse? Matt Kiley? Come on up. <laughs> I'm Matt, <laughs> and you all, I think I know most of you. Um, I've served on the Recreation Committee um, for two years. I'm up for renewal. I haven't missed one meeting. I've volunteered for every event, come up with some ideas for some new stuff, and I'd just like to continue doing that. Thank you. Okay. Colleen Cole? Okay, do we have any other letters of interest that came through? But Mike, who did you say was resigning? So uh, we just got an email um, late this afternoon that Nick Whitehouse is resigning from the committee. Okay. That's what you're looking for. Thank you. Okay. So, so I have Jennifer Smith. Sean Bildner, Matt Kiley, and Kylie Cole, correct? Um, we can, uh, going forward, we can still continue to get letters of interest and send them to the city manager and the council and to Mr. Brown, and we will take it from there. So, can I please have a motion to appoint the Recreation Committee, which at this point in time would consist of Jen Jennifer Smith, Sean Pilkman, Matt Kiley, and Colleen Cole. So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Nay. Okay, I have. <coughs> Eyes is it, and the motion is carried. I have a, I have a yeah. really important question. Does this mean in addition to the ones that are already standing members? 
because there are other standing members that are already a part of this that were not up for renewal. That's my question. Okay, I just want to wait. Okay, because the way it was worded, I was just worried that we we're appointing right now the people who need to be renewed. Madam Mayor, yes, I'd like to change my vote because I've had the same. Yes. Same reaction? That's the yes. Same concern. Yes, and I apologize <laughs> be, uh, because it went, went so smoothly. I apologize. I should have brought it back for discussion, Mr. President. And can I invite May I be you? Part? <laughs> can I invite you formally to our recreation committee meeting this Thursday at five thirty? And love to get to know the city manager a little bit. If you're willing to join us, we'll be there this Thursday at five thirty. Right here. Thank you. Has everybody voted in favor? Yes, we yes. have. Okay. Okay, next on the um, appointment list is the Chief Assessor, Mr. Frank Cheney. May I have a motion to appoint Mr. Cheney as the Chief Assessor? And a motion to have a second. Second. Is Mr. Cheney here? Yes. Okay. I'm here. You do want to keep going. No. <laughs> I already have the job. <laughs> Okay, I have a motion and a second to appoint Mr. Cheney as the Chief Assessor. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Vote say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Thank you, Thank you. Mr. Cheney. You did not go away. There's more coming your way. Okay. I have next the collector of taxes and also a constable. I have on this list Royce Lancaster. Is that still correct? It is. For, for collector of taxes and constable. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, we've been a constable for some several years. Well, that I understand, but if people want to, it's still it's not. Oh, if they want. Yeah. yeah so I just want to, but I have Royce Lancaster. We had that on one of the interests, but I, for some reason, I think that was removed. Taken away. Right. It was taken oh, okay. away. So, um, so right now, the collector of taxes constable is open. Go ahead. I'm confused. So the collector of taxes is that uh, we have we have another for the delinquent taxes. This is more of a distinct position that's in the charter as well that's kind of it hasn't really been filled yeah. for so a long time. There used to time. be somebody to go around and collect the tax. Correct. We haven't mm -hmm. done that in years. Right. Okay. So it's not like knocking on the door with the horse and all okay. dragon and <coughs> going out. But we do have the position of delinquent tax that okay. we're going yeah, that, to yeah. That confusing. Yeah. No, no, it is confusing, but I just want to be <coughs> clear and, remember, and I just wanted to make sure we got them all, okay? And we didn't miss any. Okay, so I now have our zoning administrator. What are we doing with eight? Oh, I'm sorry. With eight, we're just going to table that for now. Okay. That table that? Not you. Not you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice try. Okay, so the collective taxes, we're just going to table that for now. Okay, and we can come back to visit that as we go forward. I'll go to that. And just one correct here. Sure. sure. We're not seeing the income tax collector on the list. Okay. 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 okay, so now we're going to take number eight and we're going to call it the delinquent tax collector. Okay, let's deal with that. It's because we put the constable in there, because the way the wording was, it was kind of weird. Yes. Okay. So, for our delinquent tax collector, do we have, it was my understanding that it was our controller who was going to be doing that, but am I mistaken on that? I think we had either Rebecca or myself. Right, it was either you, you or Rebecca, yeah. right? Yeah, it's always been the manager. Right, either but I'm saying that you're right. So um, are you good I'm with fine. that? Okay. 
So may I have a motion to appoint our city manager as the delinquent tax collector? I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? A second. Motion and a second for the discussion. No. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Now we're going to our zone. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to our zoning administrator, um, Mr. Cheney, Frank Cheney. May I have a uh, motion to appoint Frank Cheney as the zoning administrator? Uh, motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion in the second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Thank you. I now have, thank you, Mr. Cheney. <coughs> I now have the City Council's um, Stitcher Page and Fletcher PC, and they are current City Council. Um, any comment from the City Manager on that? Yes, I please do. do. Um, so speaking with the mayor this week about the, or last week about this, um, and just kind of learning some ins and outs of operations in city government. And one thing I brought up was if we had gone out to bid for our, our city attorney. And when was the last time we, you know, had explored other options for, for different levels of municipal government. Um, so we had a conversation of maybe it might be time to look at other firms and if they may offer either a better deal or different types of services that, that we can then contract with them for very specific things or vice versa. So just, you know, not always using the same attorney. I compared it to the auditing firm, right? It's, it's not good to keep the same auditing firm for year after year after year. So just having some, some new influx and having us compare different firms. So. so we talked about um, possibility of conflict of interest or having more than one specific firm. So if we wanted to see who was overburdened, who had a better expertise in specific areas, so we could have two. Okay. Thoughts on that? So at this point in time, may I have a motion to appoint Stitzel, Page, and Fletcher PC as our city council with... Um, the uh, opportunity to also revisit and bring in additional options as well. So, so we're going to revisit it. So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Oh, sorry. Motion and second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Cemetery Commission. Okay, now let me make sure I have. Were we able to get bylaws on that? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So you manage everything that doesn't like a bond. Like six o'clock tonight. Yeah. Okay. But we got them. You got them. Okay. Got good. Okay. So and so tell me, correct me if I'm mistaken. It's my understanding that there are three seats available. Yeah. Right. Um, I have. But we have, I believe, four people interested? Two. Okay, so uh, we have Dennis Chenette. Yep. Clark Curtis. Yep. Those are the only two. That Those I were the only two. Is that correct? Mr. Treasurer. Those are the two. Mm -hmm. Well, we got Gene Condon down there, right? Didn't she? Oh, Is Dennis here? Those people are still serving currently, aren't they? The letter that was sent to the city council shows myself, Gene Condon, and Paul Manette all having accepted the re-upping on the committee. Right, so, all right, so my question to you, Mr. Treasurer, are those terms ready to be renewed? Are yeah, all yeah, of them yeah. ready to be renewed? Yeah, these are all renewed. Okay, so we have then uh, four, because we also have Clark Curtis, who is of has an interest. So, um, some discussion. Mr. Curtis, would you like to <coughs> I'm going to ask everyone to come up and say why you'd like to stay on one start, please. You're holding me. Um, we have all decided to re-up. These are one-year terms. And 
to further what Ms. Beerling said earlier in her letter of reference to the lawyer and what you also opened up the meeting with before these, you said that once these uh, are all taken up, when everybody has decided to re-up, then that fills the, the um, that fills the positions and there would be no more acceptances of people. Yes. Now, I understand that you said Mr. Curtis is interested in being on the committee. Is it your intent to make it a four-member committee or are you planning on somebody not being on this committee? So, um, to all those points, okay, it wasn't the re-up. I said if somebody was elected already, we wouldn't do it. But anybody who put in a letter of interest, we're going to address <coughs> and we're going to give everybody the opportunity to say that they want to be on it, and then we're going to discuss it. So we have no intention to cut or add. We want to hear, and then we're going to discuss it. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Ms. Condon is not here, so I can speak on her behalf. Please. She is interested in joining again as is Ms. Condon. Okay. Mr. Wyatt. I am also interested in rejoining the Cemetery Commission. I can tell you right now we're in the middle of a project of re-documenting all of the veterans buried at the East Main Street Cemetery because there's been a little confusion. So Mr. Schnett, myself, and Ms. Condon are working on that project currently. And when I joined the commission, I didn't know actually one of the duties was actually digging a grave. And Mr. Schnett called me one day and we were at the East Main Street Cemetery digging a grave. And that's part of the duties of the Cemetery Commission. But I want to join for one more year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we got to top that one. Huh? <laughs> um, Mr. Curtis, do you want to, uh, and I'm, my understanding is that we can add more. So it doesn't have to be just three of us. It could be more, as my understanding. But Mr. Treasurer, is that correct? Yeah, it could be an odd number. Right, an odd number, so we get a five, is what you're saying. Good. Okay. Mr. Curtis? Even though I said I was interested. <laughs> I don't know about digging a hole. I guess my, my question was, um, again, I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. I know absolutely not much about this, except now you have to dig holes. <laughs> um, but I can go on the city website and find the rec committee agenda and then it's planning, zoning, historic. I don't see anything with cemetery commission. No agenda, no minutes, no reports. Madam Mayor, just curious, I'm assuming <coughs> they report to someone, um, and this, it's kind of a gray area. I mean, we have a large amount of money in an account somewhere, I think 17000 was spent last year, I don't know what that was for, and I just thought, maybe I just want to be on and, and, and better myself to see what happens. What, what goes on? I don't know if it's a meeting once a month, a quarter, every six months. I have no idea. So you think, Madam Mayor, that Ms. Christian had to fill us in? Sure. Regarding who we answer to and funds, all that is funded through the city clerk treasurer's office. Regarding minutes of meetings, we generally don't have any meetings unless we are working on projects. There was the we had last year we had one plot left that we could sell. We sold it. The cemetery is full. So basically Mr. Curtis wouldn't have to worry about getting any more holes. We expect <laughs> unless it is for somebody who already has a lot and then passes away. So I think also the big question from the council member is how do we get the reports? Well, as stated, we really don't have any reports. Right, but like maybe the bank. We will be working. Right. Okay, that, if you want statements of financial uh, interest, <coughs> you can get that either through Mr. Johnson or through the Presumption Bank. Okay. They have all the reports. Okay. So that, it's the clarity that the council member was looking for. So, council member, are you still interested? 
I think the um, status quo is just fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, may I have a motion to appoint the current cemetery commission? Members. So, so moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Chris. First day. All those in favor? I'm a long, long way away. I'll be louder. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 <coughs> say nay. Ayes have it. The motion is carried. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for digging the hole. <laughs> okay, city landscaper. I have Robert Gosselin. Is that correct? I'm asking Mr. Brianna. What's that? The city, uh, a city landscaper. Yeah. Robert Gosselin. May I have a motion to appoint Mr. Gosselin as the city landscaper? I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? A second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Okay, next I have the Planning Commission and Historic Preservation. I also want to, there should be a note that the majority residents must be part of the municipality on that particular commission. Here's who I have, and then please help me out here. I have John Monette, Gina Cirilli, am I pronouncing that right? Cirilli? Um, I apologize. Cirilli, <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Jay Walsh, anyone else? So, may I have a motion to um, appoint to the Planning Commission in Historic Preservation John Onet, Gina Sorelli, and Jay Walsh? And before we finish the vote, I'm going to ask you all to come up. So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Um, Mr. Monet is here. You're going to be missed out front. I love this. Uh, on our first meeting after the um, city vote, we already had our vote for the members who also wanted to re up, and they are John Manette and Gina Sorelli. Um, and again, I'll reference Ms. Bierling's statement and your own statement prior to the minutes being done, or prior to this agenda this evening. Thank you. Um, Ms. Sorelli? Yeah. <coughs> you want to just come and introduce yourself so, so not everybody actually knows you. We have new council members. Hi, I'm Gina Sorelli, and I've been a resident since 2019. And for the past year, I've been serving on the planning commission, helping with the um, city, mo the modernization, bylaw modernization project. And I'd like to continue with that. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Walsh? I'm Jay Walsh, a resident of Newport for the last eight years. Um, I did request to, to be on this planning board uh, a year or so ago. Uh, my background is in uh, development and construction. I've worked in that for over 30 years. I worked for the Green Building Council. I worked for um, uh, as a planning uh, on, on another planning board, another city uh, transportation commission. I've worked on large projects uh, with regards to road development, environmental issues, um, as well as uh, environmental issues here in the state. So uh, I think I'd be an asset to the uh, commission if they would like to have me. Thank you. So um, that particular commission and the historic preservation can go up to nine members. 
So we have a motion and a second. Public comment. And yeah, no, no. These are appointments. Could I make a correction? Yeah, we're gonna. Is this another one asking an odd number or even number? No. So, um, may I have a motion now to appoint John Lynette, Gina Cirelli, <coughs> Jay Walsh, and then yeah. right, Dennis Jeanette, but. Did I get everybody? You did. Okay. All those in favor, please. Oh, yes. So, it's a procedural question. Sure. And I went through this about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, I, was, I have always been a believer that, well, I started on the planning commission 20 years ago and stayed for 15 years. <laughs> and I was always a strong believer that anyone that was interested went through the Planning Commission slash Historic Commission, the same with the Review Board that we're going to get to in a minute. Um, certain times in my 15 years, there were very few people that were interested, um, had to work hard to keep people to stay, and at times, um, we had three or four applicants, and it was sad to only be able to pick one. I lobbied over the years for more members, and the motion that you have now is premature to a motion that you need before you vote on this. The motion, if you want to add members, I am okay with. I, I, and I'll say my feelings. I want to keep John Minette and I want to keep Gina Cirilli. We're adding, or you want to add, Jay Walsh, which I have no issue with. But in order to do that, you need a motion first to increase the number of members. So if we had to vote, I would say no, because you need, I have the statute that I really don't want to read, but I can dig it out and read it. That's okay. We are allowed to, the legislative body is allowed to increase the number of members. So, again, you, you need a vote prior to this one to increase the number on the planning committee and historic committee. Okay. That's my thought. No, that's okay. So, um, I did look look at that and because the bylaws allow you to go up to nine you do not have to do that however we can do that so let's have a motion pull and, back and, and so we have a motion and a second i'm going to pull that back right that would be my preference okay we will accommodate you <laughs> thank you so may i have a motion to increase the membership to Say it again. You gotta back up the second and the first motion. Right. Start with a new motion. Right. To increase right. membership. That's what I'm and then go to the second one. Right. But so you have to retract the first and the second motion. Right. Okay. So thank you. Did I not do that? Okay. <coughs> May I have a motion? <coughs> thank you. So we have the motion to retract and we have the second. I was I second maker of the motion I retract. Good? No. Yep. All all those in favor for the retraction? You don't need to. But just, I just want to make sure everybody it's understands just gone, it. It's just gone away. Yeah, yeah, but I want to make sure that Kevin heard it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now we're going to do our new motion. Okay. So may I have a motion to increase membership for the Planning Commission and the Historic Preservation um, Committee? Commission. Number we, we can go up to nine. Per the bylaws. So at this point in time, I think what you want to do is make that motion to increase through up to the bylaws, and then you don't have to keep coming back. I would prefer just six. Mr. Six. Walsh, do we have six? Yep. And at any time we can, we can. We just verify because I don't want split votes. And sure. Does it need? It doesn't need to be even. I'm oh, sorry. No. It doesn't need to be odd. No. Okay. It's, it's, it's this one does. It's convenient, but it's not necessary. Well, I think it's. Three of minimum of three and maximum of nine. Correct. Which are both odd numbers. 
Correct, but this particular one didn't say in the that it had to be on. No, it doesn't. So we want six. Is that That's my preference? I don't okay. want my colleague. So go for the motion. Why don't you bring the motion? Let so I want. move to make the number of planning and historic commission one members. Of order. I need to say something before you vote, Dan. Yes, I may. Wait. Right. Please. To We're not voting. We're just bringing a motion. To a number of six. Okay. And point of orders could only come from here. Okay. So I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Mr. Cheney. Historically, uh, the chair votes. <coughs> six, my chair won't be able to vote unless it's unanimous or the numbers. So it almost would be seven, honestly. I know that it doesn't identify in the statute. You and I looked at the bylaw today. However, if you have six, then basically you'd end up with five people voting. And John, the chair, if he's be elected, would only vote if there was a tie. Mm -hmm. That's historically not how it's been. We don't have any procedures governing it, so I'll offer that. The other thing I'm going to offer you is food for thought, and I know I'm probably speaking out of turn. Well, I'm then don't do speak out of turn. Speak directly to what we're talking about. Here. Yeah, it's going to be directly about what you're talking about. Historically, the boards that volunteer on a regular basis play a role in the decision to add new members, primarily because they're the ones that do the work, they're the ones that are devoting their time, and I haven't seen many of you at, or any of you at my, my meetings. Uh, and I understand that you have the authority to do what you need to do, and this is no reflection on anybody. I have a couple more coming up on the second board. As far as I'm concerned, the more the mayor there. However, understand that there are people who have ownership in these boards that have devoted years and years and years to it, Okay, and it, you realize that the new people coming in uh, were after the meetings and have not been put to the board, interviewed, Definitely. recommended. It, it's not a, a request, it's just a thought. Thank you. Yeah, we understand. Okay, so um, the authority does best here. So I have a motion and I have a second to raise it to six. All those in favor, please say. Yes. Uh -huh. Sure. Go right ahead. So I am concerned about the even number. Um, I'm glad to have the conversation, which is why I seconded it. But it does seem to me that best practice would be to have an odd number. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to determine, is there any other way to do that? I believe that Mr. Walsh would be a good addition to the group and would bring helpful perspective. What I'm trying to figure out is, is there a way that we could instead of increasing to six, increase to seven with an intention to fill another seat at the next meeting, for instance. Is there some other way to resolve this rather than taking away the ability for the chair to vote as a matter of course, which is what I understand from the comments of Mr. Cheney would be the, the result of a vote to, to go ahead with six. We can go up to nine. Right which is what I said before, but um, council member asked for six. We can table that one and come back for seven, or we can uh, speak I, I, I don't know why, Mr. Burr, I don't know whomever the chair is couldn't vote. I don't understand yeah, right. why they couldn't. In, in the 15 years that I was there, in the years that I was on the review board and the historic commission, um, I never saw a tie vote, so I'm, um, I, I, I'm talking to you, Madam Mayor. I don't know why Mr. Manette, being the chair, if he's the chair, probably tomorrow night after their meeting, why I don't understand why he can't vote. He could vote. I, I think I believe he, he can vote. Right. And <clears throat> just to strengthen my thought. All those years, I never, I never saw a tie. More concerns on the review board, um, but planning commission, we 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 were there's people here that attended those meetings. Very informal. Everyone got to speak. No one left. Well, they might have left unhappy, but they were heard. They were listened to. 
So um, if someone, uh, and in addition, um, Mr. Walsh uh, interviewed uh, about a year ago, a little longer than a year ago. Um, so they know him. Another candidate was picked. And I, am, I have no issue with the number, but that number can be changed at any, any of our meetings. Correct. So my motion was for the number six. And we have a motion in a second. <coughs> we do. Okay. So all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Ayes have it. The motion is carried. May, may I now have a motion to appoint, and please tell me if I'm missing anybody, John Monette, Gina Chiarelli, and Jay Walsh to the Planning Commission and Historic Preservation Commission. So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Do I have a discussion? I have a question. These are usually identified by terms. Mr. Johnson usually knows. Are they three-year terms on the planning? Yeah, they're three-year terms. Three. Yeah. So the motion would include <coughs> that they are three-year terms. You have to ask Mr. Chase. You need motion, right? right. So you can do that because you don't. You know, if you would like that, because it's you don't have to do with historical. You can. I know. Do, but, okay. But so you want it to be three years. Well, I would like to be a three-year term. Okay. So do you want to do a friendly amendment? Sure. Yes. Okay. Friendly amendment would be to appoint for three-year terms John Lynette, Gina Shirelli, and Jay Walsh to the Planning Commission and Historic Preservation. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Madam Mayor, there's supposed all, to be public comment before the vote of course. All those in favor, okay, I'm going to ask you to leave. I'm going to ask you to leave. In your policy. I'm going to ask you to leave. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. While she's leaving, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Congratulations to the appointees. Next is the harbor master, Patrick Finn. May I have a motion to appoint Patrick Finn as the harbor master? I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion, and who wants to grab the second? Second. second. Okay, any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. I have it, and the motion is carried. Now I have the Harbor Commission. I have William Round and Ronald Shaffey. Is that who you have seen there, Jerry? Those two? Yes. May I have a motion to appoint William Round and Ronald Shaffey to the Harbor Commission? I'm going to find that out in a minute, but I know they wanted to. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I have a motion and a second. Mr. Round here? Mr. Chaffee? Any further discussion or further with this? They're not here. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed aye. say nay. Ayes have it. Then the motion is carried. Next, the Development Review Board. 
I have Agatha Coburn, Patrick Sterling, Jay Walsh, Lori Grimm, and Andrew Touchet. I'm going to ask that each um, person come up first and um, identify why they'd like to be on this before we go forward with the motion. Is Ms. Coburn here? Does anybody know if Ms. Corbin wants to continue? Have you received any letters of resignation from any of the members? We didn't receive any. Do, do you know of any that we should have received? No. Okay. Therefore, the Go. people that have been on their up now <coughs> decide to re-up. Right, okay. So could you just bear with me one second? Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I have everybody. Sure. Okay. Uh, is that Ms. Coburn? Mm -hmm. Okay, Patrick Hurley. Yeah. Um, everyone else I have are new, so could you please tell me who the other people were that were on there besides just those two? I'll let Mr. Cheney take over from this point. Okay, thank you. Right. I just need to know who's on there now. It should be in your memory. Yeah. Right, but I just finished <coughs> that. Melissa Peterson and Jake on there. Okay. Will people continue on? Those are the people who would like to continue on, and we can go up to how many on this uh, same thing? Five to nine. Five to nine. Minimum five, max nine. So, um, Ms. Green. Good evening, I'm Laurie Grimm, resident of Newport. I am interested in serving on the Development Review Board. Um, I have taken great interest in the city uh, since I moved here in uh, 2006. And uh, this is just another way for me to serve the city to understand uh, how development uh, works in our city. And so that's really why I'm, I'm interested in, in really uh, kind of getting in and, and learning some more things about the city. And this is one way I think I can do it. Thank you. Mr. Tushak. Yes, I'm Andrew Tushak, uh, city resident for eight years. Um, I'd like to be considered for the board. Uh, is in my in my field. Uh, I feel that I'd be a great fit, and I also feel that uh, as as a captain of the fire department, to have uh, someone from emergency services on that board would be a great fit as well for the city. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Walsh, are you still interested in this since you've been appointed to the other one? Do you want to also be considered for this? Yes, I would, uh, considering the DRB does not meet on a regular basis, uh, only on an as-is basis, and uh, with additional experience uh, regarding Act 250, I think that um, my presence would be an asset to that board. Okay, thank you. So. <laughs> I'm going to, so on this particular one, council members, I guess we want to do the uh, same process that council member uh, Curtis said and make a motion to raise the membership. And it can go up to nine. Before we, we consider who, or we can discuss first the applicants, the people who uh, put so forth interest. In my mind, mm -hmm. odd numbers are best. Okay. Um, so we're increasing our communities in my If you also choose to have all three, you know, you know it's up to you. So, May I have a motion to increase the development review board to nine? I have a motion to have a second. Motion and a second. Madam Mayor. All, all, all those in favor, please say aye. Yeah, but I need to, because it's an appointment, 
I'm going to bring it out to him before. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to let you speak, but I ask that because it's an appointment, just kind of raise your hand ahead of time before I do the motion. Had it on the last one. No, it's okay. Anyway. Okay. Uh, John Hallmark, city resident, uh, previous member of the DRB, previous chair of the DRB. Um, this is just a procedural question. Uh, Mr. Curtis, I think you will agree with me. Historically, applicants have gone before the boards, interviewed by the boards, and then their letter of intent and a recommendation came to you. My question is, have they gone before the boards? So thank you for that. And so I understand how everything's been done historically, but we're doing the process according to the way we're supposed to do it, and it's okay. Some people have gone before the board. Sometimes letters of interest go to the boards and they don't ever make it out. So this it was announced to send letters of interest here, and that's why we're addressing it this way. So I have a motion and a second to increase it to nine. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. I'm going to be an aye. Mm -hmm. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Now we need to appoint, okay? We have Agatha Coburn, Patrick Curley, Jay Walsh, Lori Grimm, Andrew Touchet. Any discussion on that before we make any motions? Yes. Okay. I have a different stance on this position, mm -hmm. with these positions, because the review board is a quasi-judicial mm -hmm. branch of government. I tend to agree with Mr. Harlemer that in the past um, people send a letter of interest, the review board interviews them and makes recommendations. The legislative body does not have to listen to those recommendations, but I know almost everyone on the board and I believe it's a courtesy to that board. They, they don't, with all due respect to the people that want to join, um, it's nothing that you learn overnight. And um, I, am, I voted for the, to increase the membership. However, nothing against the applicants, but I really would prefer if those people would um, they've already submitted their letters of interest and they've spoken I, I'm just asking my colleagues that that perhaps there are no there's no time urgency and I'm just hoping that my colleagues would understand that and let the process that even I was involved in for years proceed um, out of respect for the review board that's all. I would concur with that. So I have a question. If we were to uh, put this decision off, is there any time urgency involved in the decision, or can we bring it back in two weeks? Sure. We can bring the. I have a, I have a DRB here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just give me give me one second. Yeah. So, the. Um, I'm going to now recognize Mr. Cheney. Please. I have a DRB man, uh, uh, meeting scheduled for the 3rd of April. Um, and I've already posted it in the paper. It's a considerable expense. And if we do nothing tonight but table everyone, it will be a struggle to get it on. <coughs> so, so could I? My, oh, yes. Oh, so my, I, I, I would be comfortable reappointing the two who have been serving and asking for the DRB to come back to us having interviewed the three interested candidates between now and the meeting in mid-April. That is two meetings from now in order for them to have time to do those interviews. 
I, I agree. I left that part out. It's very important that the, the one or two, who's up? I guess. So there's two. Two. Uh, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I'm on board with um, reappointing the two. Let me make sure I got the right two. Okay. Um, Coburn and Hurley. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, um, right. I just want to make sure that I got this right, though. Mr. President? I'm all set. I agree. You're good with that? Okay, so Nick, so the key here is that Mr. Walsh, Ms. Grimm, and Mr. Touchette need to be interviewed. <clears throat> okay, so may I have a motion to point Ms. Coburn and Mr. Hurley and to, um, with the understanding that <coughs> Mr. Walsh, Ms. Grimm, and Mr. Touchette will be interviewed by the board. Okay. Good? Okay. May I have that motion? I just asked one that, that we identify as a well, time. I think we want to wait until they come back. No, I guess. And oh, for, yes, I apologize. Yes, it will be a two year term. Is that correct? Was it? That's the, that's the I just want to make sure that it's Frank, Mr. Cheney. It, is it a two year term for the other yeah, two? Yeah, two years. Okay. So it's going to be Ms. Coburn and Mr. Hurley for a two year term. Okay. With the understanding that Mr. Walsh, Ms. Grimm, and Mr. Touchette will be interviewed and that that will be brought back for us to put on the next meeting agenda. Two weeks. Well, yeah. <clears throat> the city manager. All those in favor, please say aye. We haven't had a motion yet. Oh, I did. I just wanted to, I, I stopped in the middle of my motion just to make sure I had the two year terms. <coughs> okay. So, I'll do it again. <laughs> May I have a motion to reappoint Ms. Coburn and Mr. Hurley to the Development Review Board for two years with the understanding that Mr. Walsh, Ms. Grimm, and Mr. Touchette will be interviewed by the review. Got it? I'll make a motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Yes, please. I was in a similar situation when I joined the DRV. I did not go before the DRV for an interview, and I was sent back for an interview before I could be on it. So you're following the proper procedure. Thank you. But thank you for um, all the information <coughs> you provided. Okay, because it's really important. Somebody who has the knowledge that and has the history tells us. Okay, yeah. so it's not. Um, it, there's not anything going on that's. We need to know. <laughs> okay, we need the information. <coughs> so I appreciate that you came here representing all people and identifying who's who, and clarifying what we needed. Okay, so the city manager put that on. Yeah, thank you. So that will be on April 15th. So you have until prior to that. Okay. Next, I have the animal control officer. And that is currently under the Newport Police Department. Is my police chief still here or has he left? <laughs> okay. You good with that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> May I have a motion to appoint uh, the animal control officer to be kept under the Newport Police Department? I have a motion. Do I have a second? I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed aye. say nay. Ayes have it and the motion is carried. Now we have the health officer. <laughs> Taking bits. So normally, 
the health officer would be under the fire chief. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh my god, <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> May I have promotion <laughs> to appoint the health officer as the interim fire chief? Month to month, yes. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Putting for the discussion. Can I help? Yes. <laughs> yes. Please call me when you need help. <coughs> I, understand, I understand you're filling in this role. Jonathan, so call I, Jonathan, I've had you on speed dial since. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just curious. This is a state position. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to revisit this as soon as right, change. Of course. Okay. Yeah, yes. we understand all that. Yeah, it's not just a, an appointment. We understand all that. Right. But right now, it's a... <coughs> So, motion and second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Say nay. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> I just have it in the motion is kind. Okay, next. So we're moving through this. We're getting there. Okay. All the um, next one is the tree warden, Robert Gosselin. Again, may I have a motion to appoint Robert Gosselin as the tree warden? I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Hi guys. Quite. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Post say nay. I uh, have it in the motion is carried. Next, I have a uh, representative to the NVDA. Um, I have the city manager and the mayor, which is pretty customary for those boards. So, um, may I have a motion to appoint to the NVDA the city manager and the mayor? I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. The motion in the second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Next, I have a motion to appoint the mayor to be the representative to the NBEDD, which is more of the global New England. Unless you want to do no, it, Mr. President. No. Okay. <laughs> just, what is the acronym for? Um, I knew you were going to do this. I'm we kept getting the E wrong. Oh. <laughs> um, Okay. I've never heard of it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> May I have a motion to create? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the global version, the okay. New England version yeah. of the NVDA. Okay. Okay. okay, so it's more of the mayor economic so development, us, but I will get it. NVDA is our regional planning commission right. and, and their economic development. Okay. In, in some counties they're, they're split apart okay. but here they're one they're one in the same so i think that's yeah that's just that's the, right the, the, right the regional but i will get that for you mr president especially since if anything happens to the mayor you're in mm. <laughs> so one is, once again because i don't know if we did this may i have a motion to appoint the mayor to the NDDD? i have a motion to have a second Second. Motion and second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Ayes have it. The motion is carried. Okay, now this one's very important. And Mr. Bernier, is he still here? No. I'm sure I don't blame him. I would want to this one too. This is the weigher of coal. It is my understanding that to have a weigher of coal, you have to have a scale. <laughs> Oh, do we have a scale? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the weigher of coal. Do we have a scale? <laughs> <laughs> so, technically, we don't need to have a weigher of coal, because I was having a little fun. I was 
asking for a motion to appoint Mr. Benier as the layer of coal. Wait till we get to the shingles. Okay. <laughs> so, um, just in case we get a scale. <laughs> by the way, it has to be certified by the Department of Weights and Measures also. I say we point this to So, um, Mr. Veneer, are you good with this? To That's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Laugh with us a little bit. Okay. Do I have a choice? <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it until we get to the next one. Okay. Keep it up, you'll be the help So, I have a motion to appoint Mr. Veneer as the way of coal. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. <laughs> <laughs> I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it. And the motion is carried. Congratulations. I have a question. Sorry. <laughs> At what point can we remove? So, yeah, we are going to be we are going to be working on all of those things that need to be changed and adjusted, and we're going to bring them all. But right now, if you don't want to do it on an individual basis, because then I'll be up in the legislature every week. Okay. So now, even more important, may I have a motion to appoint the inspector of wooden shingles, Mr. Benier? <laughs> So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Okay, now we're up to our building safety officer, Mr. Cheney. Did he leave? <laughs> I'm so into this right now. Um, may I have a motion to appoint as the building safety officer, Mr. Cheney? So moved. I have a motion and a second. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Folks say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Next, E911 coordinator, Mr. Cheney. May I have a motion to appoint as our E911 coordinator, Mr. Cheney? So. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Thank you very much. Oh, thank <laughs> you very much. But you're not the <laughs> May I have a motion that well so the next one is the emergency management director. This is either the city manager or the police chief. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> Okay, both of you get up there. <laughs> um, police chief, do you want to give me your thoughts on this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I... I've never been in the position. I don't know. It's always typically fallen under the fire chief since I've been here. Mm -hmm. um, don't even start, driving. <laughs> <laughs> that is why we are doing this right now because we have the interim chief who said he'd be the health officer, and there's no way we're swapping that. Around. There's both my hands cocked me now, buddy. <laughs> so I'll, I'll do whatever. Okay. Okay. So may I have a motion, please? to appoint as the emergency management director the police chief. Uh, I have a motion to have a second. Second. Motion to have a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Next, we have the Board of School Trustees. However, that was an elected position, so we should be all set with that. Uh, city school district moderator. We don't have anybody who wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to ask that we just move that one forward. And if anybody sends in a letter of interest, we would deal with that at the next meeting. That's been an elected position. Nobody's going for that. Anymore. Right. So I'm and just, I don't, I don't know about the statute. I, it, but I don't think there's any need for that because they don't have an annual meeting. 
It's all on that yeah. too. I mean, our green ballots and our ballots. Agreed. And that's why we're just going to move it out there. And then what we'll do on the next meeting, the ones that we don't fill, we'll just say we're not. Okay. So I just want to get the ones that we filled on today and then move the others out. Okay. Okay. This one's moved. Next, we have the city school trustees, and I believe we're set with that, with the elected officials. Right. Next, we have the grand juror, and we have no body of interest for that. So, I'm, I'm oh, interested oh. in it. This charter says three grand jurors. I'm wondering why we don't, why is the ballot had one? Mm. The what? So the charter says, I think what the charter means is that there could be up to three, but so the charter says that there will be three grand jurors and the councilman's question is on the uh, ballot, there was only vote for one. Really? Yeah. My bad. <laughs> so I need... Uh, Nobody ran for it. <laughs> <laughs> No. So are you interested? I, 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 well, I'll make a motion that I, is there anyone in the audience that's interested? <laughs> <laughs> they investigate issues. You can have a you put me on a jury for three years. <laughs> You interested, Mr. Chichat, to do this as well? Yeah. yeah. This would be good. And the president. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr. President. Yeah. Do us three in a motion. No. Sure. Um, <laughs> is this a year term since it's. Yeah. 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 So um, let me just. Title. Yes, Ms. Grant. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I need more about time. Okay. So. You know when you get called. But yeah, you'll know about it when she gets called. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you interested, Mr. Green? Uh, more about it. Well, what? This is your shot. <laughs> no, we can do two. We can do two. We can always add. <laughs> okay. Because, um, you know, that's right. <laughs> no. Okay. You want it? No. Okay. <laughs> you want it? No. no. <laughs> okay, so. May I have a motion, please, to appoint Mr. Curtis, Councilman Curtis, and uh, Police Captain Andrew Chushad as the grand jurors. Fire captain. What fire. did I say? He's a, he's a police captain. He's the fire captain. I, oh, may I have a motion to? Oh, Mr. <laughs> I meant fire captain. I apologize. Okay. So, may I have a motion to appoint Councilman Clark and uh, Fire Captain Andrew Touchette to be to the grand jurors? Councilman Curtis. Did I say that? Did yeah. I get? Yeah, I get I said called that name. I've been called Great worse. Well, she said she wants to look into it. You want me to read it? All right, so I'm going to pull, I'm going to make a friendly amendment. Are you in? Okay. I'm going to make a friendly amendment. May I have a motion to appoint? Councilman Clark Curtis. Fire Captain Andrew Touchette. And Lori Grimm to be our three grand jurors. Yeah. Sorry. Somebody better say a motion here. <laughs> do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll do it for myself. <laughs> I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it. I don't want to screen. I don't need the board. Ayes <laughs> <laughs> have it. Second, the motion is carried. Let's get, let's like, get all these investigations going to tomorrow in the morning. <laughs> so, next on the list are the auditors. This is the independent <coughs> firm. Um, 
I spoke with our current auditors. Uh, they are good to continue. They are on no rotation issues, so they've met all the requirements, so we don't have any lack of independence issues. So may I have a motion to appoint the auditors, the auditing firm of Cattell, Brannigan, and Sargent, also known as KBS, to be our independent auditing firm. I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Ayes have it and the motion is carried. Next we have assistant assessors. Assistant assessors would work under our um, chief assessor, Frank Cheney, if needed. So at this point, I'm going to ask that we move that one forward and if Mr. Cheney needs to speak with me at the mayor's hours, we can address this going forward. Okay, last but not least, we have the Northeast Kingdom Broadband. Currently, it's Councilman Vachon and Representative Woody Page. One would be a primary and one would be an alternate. Um, Mr. Sean, you'd like to continue on that? As right. alternate. As alternate. He's been primary. Right, but I, either way, I just right. want to know. So he's fine with either way, too. So it just, you want to be the alternate. Yep. Okay. And our Representative Page would like to continue, he said, as well. Okay. So may I have a motion? Is it complete or? Governance board. Right, but what is it called? The communication. It's the communication. communication district. Okay, so can I have a motion to appoint Council Council President Vishan and Representative Page uh, Councilman Vishan as the alternate and Representative Page as the primary to the Northeast Kingdom broadband. So I have a lot of motions. <laughs> can I have a second? I have a motion. Can I have a second? That's the first. They got the first. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Post say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Okay. Okay, here we go. Next item on the, thank you for that. And thank you for, yes. I had a quick question I wanted to ask you about, um, just something pretty simple, it was the second one up there. So we used to call Tom Bernier and Director of Public Works, and now that position is called the Superintendent of Streets and Waterworks. I was just wondering, like, if there's a reason for the change, and if you could explain. It's in the charter, it's stated that way. Okay. That's oh, all. Really? So it says out of the charter, the way it's stated. Okay. So the, uh, the language was never edited. It was always written like that, and you just decided to go with that. And so. So what we're doing right now is taking everything and being <coughs> with the charter. So he holds his same department head title as the... the yeah, yeah, I'm just asking for a clarification. That's yeah, just the language sure. from the, the charter. Char yeah. Okay, so it doesn't mean anything in terms that's of... Doesn't responsibilities. Okay. It doesn't change his responsibilities. It doesn't change anything. The okay. only thing that will change is the uh, bond at this point in time because that specific position needs to be bonded. Sure, okay, thank you. Okay, sure, thank you for that. Okay, next item on the agenda... Authorization to sign warrants in according with 24 VSA section 1623A1 with an anticipated vote. I do want uh, council members to understand that the reason that this was actually on the council's agenda is because it was on last year's agenda for the first council meeting after town meeting day. And um, Apparently, uh, the charter actually says that except as herein otherwise provided, no money shall be paid out of the city treasury except upon warrant signed by the mayor and approved by the board of aldermen. Such approval to be authenticated by the city clerk. So the mayor already has the vested authority to sign the warrants. I. Um, back in March 2023 at the council meeting, the council authorized uh, former Mayor Barnes and Council Pre President Wilson to sign the warrants on the council's behalf. 
And um, I believe that um, we should also, also be authorizing the council president, since he's been elected, so he is no longer President Wilson, to also sign these warrants pursuant to 24 VSA section 1623. As I said, in case the mayor is not here, is incapacitated, is in Hawaii, is otherwise unavailable, okay, so you don't have to run around and try to find my whereabouts. Okay. Um, I also want it to be very clear that counselors do not have to sign warrants, okay? Uh, the mayor, the council president, once approved, okay? And, but counselors also do not have to be concerned about general fund warrants. The ones that you want to pay very strict attention to are the water and sewer charges because those are different lawful sources. So, um, but I just want it to be known that council members may sign warrants, okay? And we can address any concerns if anything comes up going forward. So, may I please, where am I? <coughs> may I have a motion? to authorize <coughs> the mayor and the president of the council to sign the warrants under 24 VSA section 1623A1. I'll make that motion. I have a motion, do I have a second? I have a motion and a second. For the discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Eyes have it, and the motion is carried. Okay. Next on the agenda is the Newport City Downtown Development to the electronic kiosk update. I do want to let everybody know that these are presentations. Please speak through the mayor. There is no questions back and forth unless people are recognized. This is your presentation. Thank you. Go for it. Thank you, Madam Mayor and City Council members. My name is Emily Smart. I'm a resident of North Troy. I serve on the Board of Directors for Newport City Downtown Development. I am chair of the Communications Committee. I'm here today to provide an update on the Kiosk Committee, or the Kiosk Project, excuse me. Um, this project is, is was began in the 2018 Waterfront Downtown uh, Master Plan. Um, in 2022, the NCDD Committee, the Economic Development Committee, um, spoke with three different vendors, reviewed proposals, and ultimately chose the Advanced Kiosk of New Hampshire from New Hampshire. The funding for this project was secured through the Rural Development Business, the Royal Business Development Grant and is 75% funded through that grant and 25% funded through the NCDD. This is um, a picture of what the kiosk will look like. <coughs> You'll notice that this is in Carlsbad, New Mexico, and so there is an appropriate shelter for their climate, which is obviously quite a bit different than our climate. And if you go on to the next slide, you'll see what our proposed shelter will look like. Um, on the right is a trailhead shelter, and that's sort of like a side view. And on the left, you'll see what it will look like with our kiosk um, inserted. And that from shelter will be built by Timber Homes, Vermont. Um, the kiosk is currently being built by Advanced Kiosk in New Hampshire. Um, it's currently um, it's under software development. Uh, this coming week, we're planning on signing the contract with Timber Homes, Vermont. In late April, Public Works will prepare the site for the pad. Then we'll install, uh, Timber Homes Vermont will install the shelter, and then the fir first week of May, Public Works will pour the, pour the concrete pad. By May 15th, the kiosk will be delivered and installed by Public Works, and the kiosk will be usable immediately upon installation. Okay? The kiosk will um, mimic the content of discoverbeforebt.com. NCDD will monitor the usage and update of great content as needed. Internet access will likely be provided by wireless signal, and the NCDD will cover that cost. It will be located in the municipal parklet, and the final placement is to be determined. And there's no action required this time. This is just an update. 
Um, we are going to be signing the contract with Timber Homes Vermont for the shelter this week. So we wanted to present um, the update to see if you have any questions. Thank you. Um, yes. Council members, do you have any questions? You said you're going to update it. Does it collect data like when people click certain things, how many times it's clipped, or just yes, it does. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's all. I think mostly the content will be updated, like this new businesses come to the area and new recreation opportunities. <coughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Next up, same rules presentation by our fire department, our interim chief on the new engine and the pump. Yeah, so this is going to be very, very brief. Oh, no, I can't do that. Uh, so I made a phone call today and to our salesman and tried to get an immediate update. But all I can tell you is, is that in a conversation last week that the truck is in production, I can't tell you where. Um, as far as I know, the delivery date is still scheduled for next February, March to April. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, there is a little bit of conversation back and forth with, you know, just wording on the contract, but things are going very smoothly, as far as I know. Thank you. Yes? Okay. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you. Thank this you. Is, that's good news. Okay. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the road agreement. This <coughs> is an update on Mob Flower Way. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to just say what is going on. This is just an update. If you recall, people from Wildflower Way came in and they wanted the city to take over their uh, road. So regarding the Wildflower Way situation, um, the city addresses issues and um, does requests for takeover of substandard private infrastructure. And with respect to Wildflower Way, we do know from the deed language that the roadway currently does not meet the city standards because its right of way width is only 30 feet. And it appears from uh, the deed language on page two that the owners of properties on Wildflower Way are expressly prohibited from conveying the open space and road parcel, which was lot 60 at the time separately from their individual house slots, which um, unfortunately, it doesn't mean that all owners can't execute a deed conveying a 50-foot wide easement right away to the city for public road purposes over the existing road, but it makes it difficult. Um, there's other language that requires wildflower way owners to pay a one-eighth share of the maintenance costs for their private infrastructure but it doesn't say anything in the deed to the effect of until such time as it's accepted as a public infrastructure. So that language would typically need to be looked at. Um, it is typical in some deeds. Um, so we understand that the city has public works or other roadway standards in effect. And for the purposes of Wildflower Way, and its private infrastructure, including the sewer line and the pump station, and the recommendation is that the city take a position that it can't consider taking over the infrastructure until the standards of the, of the infrastructure are upgraded. So we need to know from the Wildflower Way residents if they want to upgrade their private infrastructure and maintain it so it satisfies the city standards for public infrastructure, and then the city can consider taking it over, and um, the recommendation would be to watch it and to make sure that the construction has no defects and allows for two full freeze thaw cycles. This was discussed with our department, um, with Mr. Grenier as well. Do you have anything you want to add to that? Are you good with? Mm -hmm. There was okay, so we're covered on that. Okay, so that is where we're at. So we can go back to the Wildflower Way residents and see if they want to upgrade. If they get it upgraded to the standards, we can then work with them to go forward to take it over after the terms are met. Um, remember, this is just statements right now, okay? So that's just an update. Um, there will be... Um, additional road agreements going forward and our zoning administrator is working on all that and we will get those further 
um, in play and on different agenda items. Is every from my council members, is are you good with just that update at this point in time? Okay. Next item is the vacation time ratification with an anticipated vote, and I'm going to recognize my city manager on this one. Sure. So there were. Based on the new personal <coughs> policy that was implemented uh, oh, it's like that raised a hand. Oh, try. Um, so based on the new personnel policy, there were two employees that were impacted by this because they were hired under the old personnel policy. Um, we looked into this and basically are correcting um, the employee that was given three weeks of annual leave, the new personnel policy would bring him down to two weeks. That being unfair, they should stay at, my recommendation to the council would be a stay at three weeks. And then there was one that is currently at four weeks, the new personnel policy based on years of service would put this employee at six weeks, which I would recommend that we do as well. Okay. So. Um, may I have a motion to ratify those uh, vacation um, policies? So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? <coughs> second. Motion and a second. Any comments? For the discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Eyes have it, and the motion is carried. Next is the MVP Group Health Plan contract. Um, I'd like to open that up for uh, some comments from the city manager, if you may, so. Yeah, so I would like to look, I haven't had much time to really dive into this contract and look at it. Um, the only thing that I saw is on page two of it that if we do not receive a signed contract within 60 days, your first premium payment will be deemed your acceptance. We have already sent them the first payment um, of the year, so that's my only concern is that, you know, based on that language, we've already accepted this contract. <laughs> um, but I would like to, you know, going forward, really look at health policies. Is, is this the best policy for our employees based on cost and coverage? and um, but again, this was just handed to me on Friday of last week, so I, I did not get a chance to review it. Sure. And we did um, have a meeting, I did have a meeting with our city manager, and we did discuss really taking a deep dive into the policies going forward to make sure that the best policies are available for the employees as opposed to any um, cost factor that maybe the costs are, you know, the choice is because maybe an agent wants to, likes that particular um, policy better, but I really want the city manager to look at this and make this presentation to the council. So since this is already a validated contract pretty much by default, can I at least have a motion for to approve the MVP group health plan contract um, in its current state. So I have a motion to have a second. second. Motion and a second. How many for the discussion? Oh, I'm sorry. Just Go right ahead. Question. So if, if I hear you correctly, what I'm hearing you say is that this is a done deal for this year. Right. What you're going to do is try and come back with a clear recommendation for next year. That's correct. Right. Thank you. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Okay. Next, the residuals management service agreement with an anticipated vote. If you recall at the prior council meetings, um, the council agreed to allow the mayor to continue to work on this uh, contract with the uh, city attorneys as well as with Mr. Bernier, who I thank Mr. Bernier for his input on this contract. This was a large contract. There were a lot of detail, if you recall. <coughs> um, so this is, it's back again. Um, we actually, um, it's ready for signature. Casella has already uh, signed it. 
Um, it is between the city and Casella, and it's to load into Catanas and for Casella to haul away landfill, mostly dewarded wastewater sludge via solids generated at the city's wastewater treatment plant according to a specific schedule. The um, city's facilitator, facility operators are going to load the containers with the biosolids not to exceed 14 wet tons per load, which Casella will then haul away and dispose of at the Coventry landfill. Casella um, also has the option to use the residuals for other lawful purposes <laughs> at its own risk. Okay. The agreement provides the details regarding the parties and the rights, etc. So this revised agreement actually clarified the city's obligations in a number of places, including eliminating inconsistent contract language, which was something that was highly disturbing to me. And Mr. Benier and I went through that with the city attorneys and we straightened that out. So we got more straightforward terms. We addressed measurements. Um, and I have to say that this particular uh, contract was put together uh, in, in such a good way. We got pretty much everything we wanted. And I have to recognize Mr. Benier because his input to this contract made it so valuable and made it so easy for us to take firm positions and make sure that the city, the risk passed more to Casella and so on. So thank you for that. Um, so may I have a motion to authorize the mayor to sign this residuals management service agreement as negotiated and signed by Casella? So moved. I have a motion, do I have a second? Motion and a second. Yes. I wanted to know how much do we anticipate this costing us on a yearly basis to have Casella take away our sludge? And as opposed to how much we were paying for whatever he, they were doing when we were transporting the sludge to, to them. How much is it going to cost to begin with? That's my first question. So I think yeah, the dollar value was the four. Go ahead. I recall that the cost is going to go up. Uh, it's going to be, we won't know until after the first. Correct. After we run a year. Um, it might be $15,000, $20,000. So we were running our oldest trucks, trying to keep our oldest trucks on the road um, to haul the sludge. We had one designated truck that hauled. And then when during the peak time when uh, septage is coming in, I had to give up a one of our normal other public works trucks to just to, to maintain. Right now, we're having a hard time getting trucks, uh, new trucks in the fleet. So this the way it's working right now is working very smooth. They come in once, twice a week, remove the container. They do all the paperwork. Uh, it frees up my staff. I have a I have a driver. CDL driver um, issue at the wastewater plant, so I'm not giving a public works employee over there. So it, it's it's a much better setup. But I, I hear what you're saying. It would probably take a year to see where we're really going to be. Well, how much sludge do we send them? Because it's it's a cost per per volume, isn't it? How much they sludge? charge us the same, same. amount of sludge <coughs> as we were hauling it there with our own trucks. It's the difference is I'm renting their container for $125 a month, and they're charging us $350 per load to haul it. And how many loads do we send them? Like two a week right now. So like 100 loads a year? Give or take. Yeah. Yeah. Just give us a feel. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it. And the motion is carried. Again, thank you. This was detailed, and, and you really helped with that.
Okay, the next item, the water and wastewater allocation. I'm going to recognize Mr. Benier on this. Do you want to discuss? It's a typical new home uh, off the uh, Kingdom Way, off the Glen Road. We have plenty of water and sewer allocation to approve this request. Any questions on this? Can I have a motion? Did you want a motion for both or do them apart? Do you want them distinct or do we do them together? To, we can do them together. To be, the only one that the council really has to sign off on is the sewer. Right. But when they are asking for both, I typically just have the council sign them both. Sure. So. I move to approve the wastewater and water allocations for 157 Kingdom Way. Second. I have a motion in a second. Comment? For the discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Good. Good. Next item on the agenda is the water and sewer rate discussion. I'm going to ask our city manager and our comptroller to go over some updated numbers that were presented by the treasurer with the adjustments. And I want everybody to remember that this is just a continuation of the discussion. This one is not a vote. We're still going to be talking about this going forward and until we have to get to the date where we must make a final decision. So, sure. Somebody, uh, can, so, can we get the numbers up or is it impossible to do that? We don't have to if you can. No, okay. not at the moment. Okay. Um, so we had met after the city council orientation. Uh, and so Rick was there, Linda, Jim, myself, and we just started <coughs> looking at some of the rate structure again, continuing on the conversation that we've been having at the, the previous city council meetings. Uh, we had really discussed depreciation versus taking that depreciation out and looking at the calculations that way. Um, so thanks to, to Becky, Becky put together the sheet that, that was in front of you. It was not in the council packet because it was just done this afternoon. Um, but just looking at kind of that deficit, right, over a five-year average without the depreciation and the principal payments were added back in, um, and it, it's much more palatable um, looking at, at those numbers than, than they were the other ones. Um, so I think mo what this means is more information is required. Um, so that would you know, be my recommendation is we know the deadline that we have to have the rates to get the billing cycle out during the next billing cycle, which is really, Jim, May 1st? Yeah. So May 1st is really our deadline to, to put the hammer on this. So my thought is that Becky and I sit down with the documentation that we presented and really come back to the council at one of the two April meetings, whether it's the 1st or the 15th, with, with final concrete numbers um, that, would, that would really at least put a dent in some of this and move us on the right path forward. Mm -hmm. Questions? Yes. So I, I, I really appreciate the numbers beginning to take shape, mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to where they're going, and I don't, I don't see a way to avoid what's coming down the no. road at us. I guess the concern I have is, and I think I've mentioned this to you before, Jonathan, that I, wanna, I would really like to know um, how we can kind of identify the other side of this equation, right? What's going on? Yeah, there, there have been, there's been, concern 
that has been hard to verify one way or the other because the numbers are so mixed about how much of the operations budget from the city may be moved into the water and sewer rates. Yep. So I guess I'd just like to make sure that we're not ignoring that side of the equation. Absolutely. And then when we come back, we'll have those numbers to look at as well, insofar as they can be figured out at this right. point. I understand that it's challenging. So I think there's, try to answer your question in two pieces. One is kind of the auditing of time cards to figure out what official salary, right? What percentage of that salary is general fund versus the water and sewer fund. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing audits through the month of April whether it be the kind of the, the tail end of March, beginning of April, but before your next meeting, so you can see percentages per city official. Again, these are going to be rounded, right? We're only taking a snapshot between the end or middle of March through middle of April, but hopefully we can get some number on paper. Granted, we, we should do random samples, right? Probably quarterly to get an average and maybe look at that next year, but for this next cycle, right? Yes, taking that snapshot in time. I think the other piece that we're not going to know is, is usage until we get a meter on every connection. Now that's going to be a challenge, right? Because we know, and I think Tom mentioned this, it was 60% or so, right? If, if I'm not mistaken, that are metered or unmetered? It's about six to 700 that need to be metered, so. Okay. So we have, a, we have a ways to go, right? So I think grant funding, um, you know, I've talked to Frank about, you know, what do we put in our zoning permits for new construction to make sure that, that those things are being put in place. So one, we can see if there's leaks, right? Like if meters are spinning, we, right now we just don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to get an accurate temperature, right, on, on usage and, and where we can help kind of solidify that. Thank you. Absolutely. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, so we're going to move this. I want to thank Becky. Becky is the one oh. that really put together the spreadsheet and, and helped out this afternoon. So thank you, Becky. Here, here. Say it again. Where did we get copies of that spreadsheet? And I'll make sure something's in the packet as, as well you. for the next meeting. Hi, come on. <clears throat> you have one. <laughs> So, um, Paul Tice, I'm a resident. Um, on the water and sewer rate, um, just a couple things I'd like the council to consider. Um, so, I'm not sure, but <clears throat> with what you were saying about a leak study, yes, meters help. Um, I mean, I've got 28 years experience in a very large water utility. You can do leak testing without meters. You can, you can shut down mains, you can pressure test, all that stuff. So that's something. So the other thing too, on the wastewater side of things, have you thought about an infiltration study to make sure you're not picking up groundwater, to make sure that somebody doesn't have a storm drain tied in, all that stuff. Um, other stuff, um, meter calibration on your larger meters. Uh, you know, uh, I'm assuming like your big buildings, your schools and stuff have probably been metered for a while. <clears throat> um, are we charging Derby enough? Are we charging um, the septic services enough before we throw this all on the <coughs> residents of Newport? Um, and then, um, Contracted services, uh, you know, contracting services for meter testing and stuff like that. Um, all stuff that I think should be looked at before we, you know, the city needs to do its due diligence um, and do <coughs> as many mitigation efforts as they can before we see a substantial rate increase like you're talking about. Um, and I agree. I looked at the numbers, the breakup of hours. Um, they just don't look right. So, um, from my, you know, from my experience, so uh, just wanted to share that. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 
I know in the past I, I have been um, one of the proponents of really examining this closely, but I want to I want to look at it historically. The, whatever rate that you wind up figuring out, and I trust that there, there are some really good eyes on it now. Um, the problem did not arise during this administration. The problem, I mean, the, the reason we are behind the eight ball now uh, arose during the prior administration. And I don't, I don't want it to be forgotten um, that that was when um, salary shifted, uh, more salary shifted. Um, that was when we uh, got that expensive um, repair contract for the other tower. Um, that was when uh, we were seeking money into various things for the future, when we didn't have enough to pay for the current costs. Um, and anyone on the council who really examined it closely and wanted to speak up was really um, not well respected at that time by the people uh, who were putting some of this together. Um, so, and, and when, the, when the city manager was asked where she was getting um, her concept of how great the increase would be, she would just talk about general inflation. So I, I want to say that I, I have uh, faith in this group of people to figure it out. And now and then I'll make a comment as I usually do. But uh, I think going forward, um, I have hope, even though I know there's going to be a big increase here, but it, it is not the fault of this council, and certainly not this city manager <laughs> who just came on board. But thank you all for trying to help us get out of this mess. Thank you very much for your comment. Okay, right? Yes, of course. I've forgotten about Mr. Tice. I've worked for him. He's a city resident. By his prior life, I think you would find he's a very valuable, hopefully free resource to reach out to in <coughs> helping with this. So I, I will get you his contact info, <laughs> if, and I'm curious if you're willing to, to help with this. Sure. Oh, okay, I'll get you his info. Expect someone to reach out to him. See what happens when you come in and get what you got. We jump all over it. No, really, thank you. Yeah, temporary. Our temporary consultant forever. No, thank you very much, really. It's greatly appreciated when we know that we have residents who are just a wealth of information and we need you to come forward and participate. And I thank you for that. Thank you for putting them on the spot. <laughs> no time like the present. <laughs> okay, next item on the agenda is public participation. Okay, <coughs> we're going to be opening the floor to public comment for each agenda item, which we've already done. Members of the audience are reminded that members of the press are present and that these proceedings are being recorded for current and future broadcasts over the city's cable television channel. Members of the audience are further reminded that Newport City Council meetings are for the purpose of allowing council members to conduct city business. City Council meetings are the only time the City Council discusses, deliberates, and decides upon city matters. City Council meetings are held in public to promote transparency and accountability in government, but are distinct from public hearings or town meetings, and that they are not meetings of the public. Members of the public shall be afforded a reasonable opportunity to express opinions about matters considered by the City Council. To conduct orderly and efficient meetings, I kindly request the public's cooperation and compliance with the published guidelines when participating in the meeting, and I thank you for that. So, I'm going to ask that when the name is called, you please come up to the microphone. Please, again, speak through the mayor. You will have um, two minutes. Will I? <laughs> Newly elected president. Please so pull bad. out the... <laughs> Look, that could be your first thing, is to assign somebody to... Okay. Um, former Mayor Barnes. 
Good evening, Beth Barnes. Um, I want to just reiterate what um, Ms. Shirella said. I have a lot of faith in the people at this table, especially Jonathan. Thank you. We're so happy to have you here. These are just some thoughts that I jotted down since the last meeting. Um, just read them in the interest of time. I don't have an accounting background, but can still see that for some time there have been ongoing questions about the accuracy of accounting methods used to prepare the annual report. Uh, point two, the city CPA in at least the last three years has identified material deficiencies with the city's internal accounting procedures that seem to have not been addressed by the city. Perhaps they have, and perhaps we just don't know about it, but I am concerned about those um, material deficiencies. The city clerk treasurer said recommendations to increase water and sewer rates were based on the current financial reporting without really confirming the accuracy of that reporting. And finally, um, I request that the mayor and the council um, postpone implementing any increase until the reliability of the financial reporting is confirmed since the results may determine that the recommended increases is uh, are unnecessary burden on residents of Newport. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your comment. Okay, so um, Mr. White already somebody else. Oh, right, I forgot. It's back in time. Claire McIntyre in Newport. I was not born in Newport. I come from away. Therefore, many will not value my words. I recognize that I am not important. I don't have the skills or the abilities that can make a significant contribution to the downtown development opportunity across the street. Since I came here, I've tried in very small ways to recognize, support, and thank the individuals, <coughs> organizations, and local businesses that have conducted themselves in thoughtful, caring, and generous ways to help those who live and work in Newport, and Newport itself, to move forward, to be the best that they and the city can be. As a Newport person, I will pledge to you that I will continue in my own small ways to support those who care about all of us, who strive to bring their best selves to the city, and who try to help move the city of Newport to be the best that it can be. Thank you for your time and patience. Thank you for your comments. Next item on the agenda is new business. Councilman Schabino. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to point out Newport PD. Uh, today at the high school, a known resident to uh, Newport PD went into about eight or nine student cars and just stole several hundred dollars of money. Within an hour of the report, uh, they had apprehended the, the suspect in Newport. So it's really a good job, good cooperation between the SRO and the, uh, the guys out on the road. Thank you. Thank you for that. President Fishon? I do. Is Mike still here? I'm on the spot. Um, there's an Easter egg hunt this weekend. Uh, I believe it begins at 11 o'clock for the younger folks out in, uh, I'm calling it Proudy Woods now, but it's not. Uh, Pride Beach, where the woods are, will be out there. We really found us awesome last year. Um, and the local scout troop reached out. Um, they want to bring in some of their scouts who are interested in seeing what civil government looks like. Um, so it sounds like we could put a mock agenda item on the next agenda so they can sit at this side of the table and go through an agenda item and see how that's like. So. I have the perfect. Uh, Councilman Curtis? Uh, no, thank you. Councilman Upper Chase? No. Treasurer Johnson? I've got uh, <clears throat> a first class liquor license, a third class liquor license, 
and two outside consumption permits the VFW can prove them all at once. One of the outside consumption practice in the front, and they have a deck out back they do, so they have to have two permits. So I get a motion to approve those licenses for the VFW would be great. Can I'll I make have a motion? I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Comments? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. <coughs> they have one other. <laughs> so I've got a, uh, a tuna vendor permit for <coughs> Buggy's Breakfast LLC, Fred LeClaire Jr. Uh, he's got all the information, the insurance, the photographs, the health certificates, paid his fee. Uh, I assume it'll start. <coughs> he paid for a year. We need a motion to approve that, too. So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? A second. A motion and a second. Discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Ayes have it. And the motion is carried. City manager? No, thank you. Comptroller? I have to. I'd like to announce to save the date. Um, the Vermont State Treasurer Mike Piacek is going to be participating in a community forum on financing and housing on May 13 at 5:30 in the gymnasium. Um, in addition, there should be a panel from the Northeast Kingdom International Task Force to also discuss the airport, its economic benefits, and housing benefits to both Newport and Coventry. Also, um, there have been complaints and identifications of properties regarding zoning violations and other infractions. The city is taking action to notify those in violation that they must cure in order to avoid any building safety inspections, formal zoning notices of violation, and or issuances of municipal um, tickets from a building safety officer in compliance with the city's ordinances and zoning and, and um, subdivision bylaws. Also, the Capella litigation will be going to mediation in a couple of months, and the mediator assigned is David Potter. Um, our city attorneys represented Newport in the Vermont Supreme Court grant suit that was filed against Newport and others. <coughs> the court found that the proposed assisted living facility plan for Newport had no right to challenge the decision, therefore no standing, of a grant panel that awarded um, uh, the uh, the competition for the project. This was the housing. This was to house our seniors in Vermont and Lakemont retirement community case that sued the Agency of Commerce and Community Development and others, including the city of Newport, saying a grant meant to help compensate the city for damage stemming from the EB five fraud was improperly awarded. The, ca the court found that um, against the housing, our seniors in Vermont for a lack of standing. So that case is now over. Next item on the agenda is old business. Councilman Charbonneau? No, thank you. President Sean? No, thank you. Councilman Curtis? No, thanks. Councilman Upper Chase? No, thank you. <laughs> Treasurer Johnson? No. City Manager? Thank you. Controller. I have some. Um, I just want to give a quick update on the malfunction of the Alicia treatment system that had the leak. I had an in-depth conversation with Director Matt Chapman at the state's waste management and um, protection division, and the director informed me that while some of the contaminants slid out into the foray of the storm water area that it froze and was actually easier to deal with and was removed an environmental consulting firm has been retained to assess the situation there are <coughs> continuing permitting issues there are three a and r permits plus an act 250 permit um, there are frustrations with the permit <coughs> process because people can intercede specifically on Act 250 permits. 
So the last permit, which is regarding the air pollution issue that needs to be obtained, is still in process due to the appeal. That is what is stopping the process of moving the storage from a tent to an already built, heated, secured, and robust building. Until that permit appeal process is finalized and decided upon, the tent has to continue to be used for that storage. We're aware of these issues. Casella is actually outside the jurisdiction of Newport. However, we are all paying attention to this and all efforts are um, important. Um, the director has me now on direct alerts regarding this issue and I will actually be going to the director, with the director to the site and um, I have asked and the director has said yes for the council members and the city manager to please join me when we do that site visitation and this way we can all stay updated on what's going on over there. Okay. Um, next, um, I would like to just uh, make a quick response to a March 6, 2024 Chronicle article. The Chronicle printed an article on March 6, 2024 that incorrectly stated that recent changes in the city's personnel policy were adopted without input from city employees. That statement is false. The prior personnel policy adopted by the City Council in 2014 was long overdue for revision. Well before 2024, when the current policy was adopted, the City Council directed the former City Manager, Laura Dolgen, to initiate a review of the City's personnel policy. Ms. Dolgen initiated that review based on a model Vermont League of Cities and Town Policy. Prior to seeking review by the City's attorneys, Ms. Dolgen convened an informal group of stakeholders to review the VLCT policy and make revisions. The department heads provided further input to policy revisions in mid-June 2023. The end product, the personnel policy adopted by the council on March 6, is the result of years-long review with input from department heads and employees alike. Once again, it would be prudent for the Chronicle to discuss facts with the mayor <coughs> prior to just writing stories based on hearsay or direction from those who may just have an agenda or have no direct knowledge. Okay, the city, here's my next um, item. The city is now, as we heard from our city manager, beginning to do uh, random analysis testing of tracking administrative salaries being allocated to the water and sewer accounts. If you recall, um, the council made that statement uh, several months back that we would be starting to do that. And I thank the city manager for jumping on top of that because we all know how important that is. Um, I also have been uh, attending safety meetings regarding the eclipse and so has our city manager as well as our police chief and department heads and our police chief is amazing and he's just taking such a strong lead on this. Um, April 8 is the eclipse and the event will be at Gardner Park and I want to thank um, Mike Brown as well and I look forward to seeing everybody there. Next item on the agenda is to set the next meeting, the regularly scheduled council meeting for April 1, 2024. May I have a motion to set the meeting? Mm -hmm. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Yes. Further discussion? All those in favor, please <coughs> say aye. 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 say nay. Ayes have it and the motion is carried. Do I have a motion to adjourn this meeting at 8.45? Uh, no, 8.50. 60. What time is it? 8.60. Yeah. I have a motion. That was good. 8.60. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Aye.